What's up y'all, it's Sunny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about elements, using the elements in your rituals. Um, the reason I decided to teach on this briefly here is because in the Vibe Tribe this month, I'm hosting a masterclass called Manifesting Using Elemental Magic in Your Rituals. Um, and I was like, well, I never talked about using elements and rituals on a YouTube channel, so I guess I'll talk about it briefly. But if you want to learn more about manifesting, rituals, using elements in the rituals, and all of that jazz, join the Vibe Tribe this month. Um, the two highest tiers will give you free access to the masterclasses and the replay. Um, so, link will be in the description. Anyways, let's get into it. So, um, there, for me, I consider five elements. Air, water, fire, earth, and spirit. Um, ether, spirit, is the word is interchangeable to me. Um, and each element represents a different part of the earth. I believe in every ritual, each element must be represented, but in certain rituals, I will focus more on an element than, um, than focusing on all three, if that makes sense. So with, um, earth, a few elements, well, physical items that represents the earth element is herbs, sands, like from beaches, uh, soil, like dirt, um, Herbs, like, you know, different herbs. I said that stones, like crystals, represents the earth element. Air, um, some things that can represent the air element is feathers, uh, fans, like a, a fan. Uh, some people also use incense. I love using incense uh, to represent the air uh, element. And then for water, you can have a bowl of water. You can have seashells. I like to use seashells. The seashells come from the water. You can use river water, ocean water, rain water. You can use different type of waters to uh, represent the water element. And then fire. I really love to use fire when I want to do something quickly or get something done quick. Um, but fire, of course, a candle. You can use a, bon a bonfire, a campfire, um, a lighter, things like that. But normally, I use a candle. And then spirit. There is different um, ways and different ways to tap into that ether element. For me, I use the um, help of my ancestors. You can call on certain spirits and certain guides. You can use your intuition as a um, to bring forth the ether element, your higher self, and things like that. So some ways that you can use these elements and rituals, say like, okay, you're going to do a money ritual. You may want to have a money incense a money candle, you may want to have um, a money crystal like Green Adventuring, and then you also may want to have, um, what I say, I said incense, crystal, okay, then you may want to have like a cup of water, um, green water or something, right? Um, and then you may also want to call on your ancestors or burn ancestor money, right? Because ancestor money clears up the um their karmic debt i won't get into that you can watch the ancestor videos i have many of them on my channel but um you may bear ancestor monies to call on their help to help with this money ritual that is not a ritual that i have done or anything i'm just saying this is ways that you can um introduce each element so say if you're doing like a healing ritual so for the water element you may take a spiritual bath right for the fire element you may burn a healing candle for the earth element, you may uh, use the herbs and the crystals that may uh, help in that may help with healing in your spiritual bath. Um, for incense, you may I mean for air, you may use incense, certain healing incense. Uh, you may use like lavender to lift up your mood or to relax you and things like that. Um, so when it comes to the elements, it's best to just represent them in any ritual. If I'm doing a money ritual, a love ritual, a healing ritual, a protection ritual, any ritual, I always have the elements represented. By representation, what I mean by that is um, just having them placed there um, or using them throughout the ritual, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to go too deep because this is a conversation and a topic that can go very, very deep and have your mind spinning and you're like, oh my gosh, Sunny, wait, what? So I'm just trying to give you surface level, but you want to represent each element in every ritual. I even say this on altars, ancestor altars. When you build your ancestor altar, try to represent each element. So on my ancestor altar, I have a candle, of course, that's fire. I have a cup of water that represents water. I have feathers um, because my ancestors communicate with me through feathers. 
that represents air. I have um, for earth, I have I have stones on there. Some people don't put stones on their ancestor altar, but I have stones. I also have some other things. I have tobacco on there, which comes from the earth. For the ether, I have like a um, uh, what is it? Uh, Archangel Michael pendant on there. I also have their names and pictures on there. So I represent the elements at all rituals, all altars that I do um, or build. And in certain rituals, for example, if I want to get rid of something, I am going to probably use fire because if you think about fire, fire burns, fire purifies, fire removes. So if I say, look, I got some stuff that I'm holding on to, I want to get rid of, I'm going to probably take me a spiritual bath after I burn maybe a piece of paper. I may write all of the things I want to get rid of, things that's holding me back down on a piece of paper, and I'm going to burn it because fire burns and purifies, right? Um, and after that, I'm probably going to take a spiritual bath. Water, I'm going to probably put um, hyssop, rue, and some other herbs in it, which is going to represent the earth, right? And then I'm probably going to burn me some incense, to be honest, because incense create a whole vibe with the spiritual baths. Um and then I am going to pray and talk to my ancestors and um, spirit and all of the other guys that help and protect me to help me get rid of this thing. Um, I know this is kind of brief. So if you want to learn more about elements and using elements through manifesting or uh, using elements in your rituals or things like that, join the Vibe Tribe. The Vibe Tribe is my special group. I love everything. Oh, it's amazing. But we talk about a whole bunch of stuff, and um, I do different topics every month. But the two highest tiers, I believe it is um, the Ultimate Vibe and Be the Vibe will give you access to the free Q&As, the free card readings, and the free um, master classes every month. And this, uh, this month, I'm teaching on manifesting using rituals, using elements in your rituals. So this is brief. If you have questions, comments, or concerns when it comes to using elements or anything about elements, drop them below. I'll be sure to answer them. And if you want to join the Vibe Tribe, click the link in the description. Until I see y'all again, y'all already know what I'm going to say. I love y'all. Bye.